New York, Thanksgiving weekend movie going was still far from the feast it normally is, but Disney's Encondo and the Lady Gaga led House of Gucci both gave a lift to two genres that have been particularly battered by the pandemic, family movies and adult dramas. Encondo led the box office with $27 million for the weekend and $40.3 million across the five-day holiday frame, according to Studio Estimates Sunday. While well off the pace of past Disney animated movies released at Thanksgiving, Coco launched at the same time of year with $72 million, as did Ralph Breaks the Internet with $84 million. The result was the best opening for an animated movie during the pandemic. Family films have been especially slow to bounce back, though with kids increasingly getting vaccinated, hopes have been rising that releases such as Encondo can need a rebound. Disney earlier this year released films like Pixar Lucas straight to Disney Plus, but put out Encondo, reportedly made for $120 million, exclusively in theaters. The film, about a magical Columbia family and featuring original songs by Lin-Manuel Miranda, took in $70 million globally. Was Solma Hayek's character a witch? Did Maurizio flee to Switzerland? Disney's Encanto enchants with awkward teen heroine, catchy Lin-Manuel Miranda songs. House of Gucci, from director Ridley Scott, debuted with $14.2 million for the three-day weekend and $21.8 million across five days. That, too, was among the best performances for an adult drama. Scott's own The Last Duel launched with a paltry $4.8 million in October. House of Gucci, a $75 million budgeted film about the family behind the Italian fashion brand, features a large cast including Adam Driver, Jared Leto, and Al Pacino. But its star, Lady Gaga, who plays Patrizia Reggiani, especially drove the turnout, 59% of the audience was female and 45% were between the ages of 18 and 35. About 34% were 45 years and older, a higher turnout among older moviegoers than most releases have seen. Originality still counts in the public's mind, says Eric Loomis, distribution chief for MGM, which released the movie. We were really pleased with the results. If you asked me going into the weekend, I was praying that the predictions were right because you just don't know today. You just don't know how the market's going to react. Disney's Encondo, Lady Gaga in House of Gucci. Joaquin Phoenix jokes about making his toddler watch Minkman. Thanksgiving weekend often accounts for around $250 million in ticket sales domestically. Overall business this weekend came in at about $142 million, according to data firm Comscore, a bit more than half of typical business but also almost seven times better than Thanksgiving 2020, when many theaters were still shuttered. Also new in theaters this weekend was Paul Thomas Anderson's Licorice Pizza, a coming-of-age romance starring Alana Haim and Cooper Hoffman, which opened on four screens for a per-screen average of $83,852, easily the best of the pandemic. Licorice Pizza expands wider in the coming weeks. of certain demographics to go to the movie theater, more mature audiences and family audiences, 
both came out this weekend, says Paul Darabedian, senior media analyst for Comscore. This Thanksgiving weekend at the box office should be very encouraging to the industry, for whom these audiences have been the toughest to bring back to movie theaters. Still, every step forward for the movie industry this year has been accompanied by setbacks. The discovery of the new, potentially more contagious Omicron variant sent shutters through Hollywood, which has been trying to build back movie-going habits. Even as nations scrambled to enact new travel regulations because of the variant, experts cautioned that much is still unknown about the new strain. Last week's top film, Ghostbusters, Afterlife slid to second place with $24.5 million in its second week after a modest 44% drop. The sequel has grossed $87.8 million domestically and $28 million internationally. The R-rated Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City, a reboot in the now seven-film video game adaptation franchise, debuted with $5.3 million for the three-day weekend and $8.8 million for the holiday frame. In its fourth weekend of release, Marvel's Eternals added $7.9 million in ticket sales over the three-day weekend to bring its North America cumulative total to $150.6 million and $368 million globally. Oscar contender Belfast, Kenneth Branagh's semi-autobiographical tale of his childhood in the Northern Ireland city, expanded to 1,128 locations in its third week. Belfast earned $1.3 million over the five-day weekend, bringing its total thus far to $5 million. Ten new movies you can't miss. From West Side Story to New Spider-Man Jared Leto transforms for House of Gucci